Hey what's going on guys, in this tutorial I'm gonna show you everything you need to know about WordPress. So here we'll see what is WordPress and why it's so popular. We will see how WordPress works, what WordPress themes and plugins are. We'll discuss about the page builder, the differences between WordPress.com and WordPress.org and finally how you can build your website by using WordPress. So what is WordPress? WordPress is a software for creating and managing your website content. So that's why it's sometimes called as content management system and in short form it's CMS. And the best part is by using this amazing software you can make your website yourself. WordPress was made in 2003 and it's continuously updating by a lot of developers. Over 35% of all the websites on the internet is built by using WordPress. That's a lot of number. There are several reasons behind this massive popularity. The number one reason is it's extensible with the tons of plugins and themes. Which means you can extend the functionality of the WordPress by adding extra plugins or themes. And it's easy to use, it's secure and SEO friendly by default. And last but not the least, it's free. So how does WordPress work? A website is built of some coding languages like HTML, CSS, JavaScript, PHP. If you don't believe me, press Ctrl U on any website and you can see some scary chunks of code that your browser can read and translate this into a beautiful web page. So in previous days, to make a website, you have to write down these codes or hire a developer who can do this for you. But WordPress makes life much easier. Now we can build your website by simple click and drag and drop features by yourself. You can change your content, design it easily, make a fully functional website with no coding. You don't have to worry about coding anymore. WordPress actually generates these codes under the hood and make the website for you. There are two main areas of WordPress. One is dashboard and another is frontend. Dashboard is the place where you can control your website as an administrator. So it obviously has to be protected, you obviously don't want other people to get access your content and mess up with that. So you have to log in here to get access, you can change your website content, create pages, change themes, plugins and everything from here. On the other hand, frontend is the area which your visitors can see. When you make some changes on the dashboard, it reflects on the frontend. So now let's talk about the WordPress themes and plugins. If you hear about WordPress, you probably hear about WordPress themes and plugins. These are the two core part of WordPress. Theme actually represents how your website design and layout looks. It's something like changing your phone theme. There are over 50,000 theme available which you can use with WordPress. Some of them are free and some of them are paid. If you go to wordpress.org, you can find thousands of free different themes. The plugins is an additional software which you can install with your WordPress website to add an additional feature. There are over 60,000 plus plugins which you can use with your WordPress website. For example, WooCommerce is a popular plugin which you can use to add an e-commerce functionality with your website. Now let's talk about WordPress.org and WordPress.com. Some people may get confused about them. These are basically two different websites. WordPress.com is a platform where you can create a free website on their hosting. Here you don't own your domain name. So it looks something like your domain name.wordpress.com which looks very unprofessional. And there are other limitations. You can't make money with ads. You can't upload any extra plugins. You can't add Google Analytics. And your website may turn off anytime if they think you are violating their terms and rules. On the other hand, WordPress.org is a place where you can download the free WordPress software and use it with your self-hosted website. By being self-hosted and using WordPress software, you are not limited to these restrictions. Here you own your unique domain name, something like I own my unique domain name which is makedreamwebsite.com and also you can place ad on your website and make money, you can use any themes or plugins. Actually, there is no limitations. You can create an online store with all the e-commerce functionality 
and it's much more customizable and you have much more control on your hand. So my recommendation is always to choose the second option. If you want to start seriously, buy a self-hosting and use WordPress with it. Now let's talk about the WordPress page builder. You know you can create pages with WordPress but the default WordPress page building system is not so user friendly. So here the page builder comes in. The new addition of page builder take WordPress to the another level. It makes web page building process so easy that anyone can create a website so easily. You can build and design your page on live by page builders drag and drop features. Elementor DV, Thrive Architect, these are the most popular page builder you can use with WordPress as an additional plugin. You may hear about some other page builder like Wix or Squarespace. These page builder are actually not a part of WordPress. These are basically other standalone page builder. But I recommend not to use that because they have don't enough customization option like WordPress and they have some other limitations. Now let's discuss about what type of website you can make using WordPress. Previously WordPress was basically used for only blog websites. But now with the help of additional plugins you can build almost any kind of website you can imagine. You can create blogging, business, e-commerce, membership, portfolio, social media and a lot more type of websites with WordPress. Now the question is can you create a website from A to Z using WordPress? The answer is yes. So it's time to create your own website yourself. I'll show you how to do that in this video. I will also put the link of the video in the description below. Here I've shown you all the process step by step from scratch. How to get a domain name and hosting, how to install WordPress, how to make a beautifully designed pages by easy drag and drop feature and more. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial, hit the subscribe button below, leave a comment if you have any question, I'll see you in the next video.